sip of water. That's the way up to camp three at 11,000. Sitting at camp one right now at uh, 7,800. It's Tuesday morning, May 18th, 2021. And that there, with the lenticular cap on it, is Denali Summit. About 12,500 feet up. Up here at about 10,000 feet on Denali's West, West Butcher, so we're below it. Uh, there's looking down toward the Kelton Glacier. There's Kelton Pass somewhere in here, and we need to go up around the corner to the right and uh, do another thousand vertical today to get to the 11,200 foot camp. So we'll see how it goes. Getting a little cold, but we're not hating the overcast because the sun's kind of vicious. Yeehaw, go Denali, go. Taking a break at about 10,300 feet. On our way to Camp 3 at 11,200. A little cloudy, a little cold. A little bit of snow. Deep, powdery bullshit. It's really slowing us down. But making progress and it's still pretty early in the day. Sliding into 11,200 foot camp. Oh, thank God for that. Fucking beat. It's about 5.20 p.m. on Tuesday, the 18th of May, 2021. Oh man, wind dead. Dragging and carrying 125 pounds of gear, plus my fat ass. Good God. All right, so here at uh, 11,200 camp on Denali. Got my tent set up, rigged up fairly well for a decent event. Although I don't know if it's in the forecast or not. Uh, here, I'm pretty much in the middle of camp. There's probably about 50 or 60 people milling around taking care of their business. It's chilly. Uh, I don't know, single digits. But uh, the wind's fairly low, so it's merciful. And the sun is bright. 
So that's the way we go up. I came up with uh, uh, three guys that are over here. Um, I don't know whether or not I'll continue up with them. I was just tagging along with them. I'm still technically on my own. So um, they might leave tomorrow. I don't think I want to leave tomorrow. I think I want to stay here and breathe the air at 11,000 before I go any further up. But one way or the other, I'm going to be climbing into this tent here shortly and warming up and probably get some food cooking. See what the deal is. But yeah, I made it to 11,200. All right, just up here, uh, climbed to the top of Motorcycle Hill on a acclimatization hike. Probably about 500 vertical up above uh, Camp 3 at 11,200, so we're 11 and a half, 11, seven, something like that. Cold, hot, windy up here. Came up here with uh, Sam and Greg here. And, uh, we got decent weather, but yeah, it's definitely a lot chillier. Second rest day at the 11,000 foot camp. Just cooking up a little bit of water in my little sink and kitchen space here. I'm gonna clean out and fill some water bottles. Kind of a cloudy, subdued day. I think I heard some climbers talking about going up to the next camp today, but I'm gonna go tomorrow. Just to make sure I'm extra rested. Um, Slept better last night than I did the first night here, but you know, it's still thin air and I'm not acclimatized 100% to 11,000 foot yet, so we'll see. Hopefully, a little bit of activity around the camp. Can't see very far off the mountain today, like we could yesterday. See you about tomorrow. I'm up here. I'm up here uh, solo at 13,000 feet at a place called Windy Corner. I don't know if you can make out anything through the whiteout. There's some rock formation there that I'm sure is recognizable. But it's pretty well whited out. Um, kind of has been all day. So I'm just uh, making slow, steady progress, moving up. Luckily, I started early enough that I'm not too nervous about getting to Camp uh, Camp Four at, at 14,000 feet. I should be able to do it, no problem. Uh, it's fucking cold, but like I said, it's not as windy as it should be. This part of the mountain is supposed to be extremely windy. It's actually a lot windier down lower at a place called Squirrel Hill. So, uh, counting my blessings here, even though I can't see shit. But, uh, yeah, hopefully uh, get to 14,000 with no issues. All right. Just rolling in to the 14K camp. And these tents are a sight for sore eyes. Oh, tough day. About nine and a half hours on the trail bunch of crevasses punched into and luckily didn't get too serious into any of them but very nerve-wracking um, decent high winds at certain points and uh, white out conditions most of the way up here you can see there's a little bit of blue sky peeking out everyone that I've talked to that knows anything about the mountain says that this camp is like paradise compared to the others. 
in terms of the weather. Like, yeah, it's colder, but it is uh, less wind, more sun. So looking forward to that. I'm gonna drag my weary bones over and find a place to set up camp. Just getting out of bed. First morning at uh, 14 camp. Some people are set up here, but I'm gonna leave today. There's some friends get up to the hotel camp over there. Center is frame in a little tent. So I'm gonna help them set up a kitchen tent. Go hang with them. Uh, we do have visibility though, and it is. some weird rainbow cloud edge. I'm not sure if the camera's picking it up as we're over here setting up a dinner tent with Trisha and Marlon, the very nice people that have increased the hospitality of this trip for me pretty <laughs> substantially. But yeah, wild clouds. And we got a couple climbers coming up and that is that is the, uh, where's my finger? There, that is the fixed lines that I wasn't sure about earlier. Well, it's negative eight, so I'll be quick. I'm at camp four, 14,000 feet, looking up at the fixed lines. Crazy amount of spin drift coming off. Must be some pretty good winds up there, but it's beautiful. Uh, it's pretty late at night. I don't know if, I, I think it's 11 right now. Of course, the sun doesn't go down. Okay, that's it for now, it's cold. Uh, at 14 camp, just waking up, it's about 9 a.m. Uh, I am covered in snow. This, the winds have been absolutely howling. There is a snow bank in my tent here, presumably from the vent, which I cannot shut because this tent will trap all my moisture from my breath, so. Yeah, kind of catch 22. Hopefully we get some sun today, boil this all off. What a mess. Ah, rebuilding our camp. Got some serious winds out of a direction we did not anticipate. Trying to get a wall up on this side now. Normally the prevailing wind comes from the other direction. Flattened our kitchen tent, but we should be all right. Although they're powering down, I don't know if they do that.
up here between camp four at 14,000 and the fixed lines. Um, I'm probably a little over 15, but GPS is having a hard time on the steep slope. Um, I was looking down at camp four over at Hunter. It's a beautiful clear day. You can see all into the valleys down below and then over to Foraker. I mean, it is crystal, crystal clear. A little warm too, I'm just in a base layer up here. Whereas one or two nights ago, it was negative 10 going to sleep in high winds. So pretty grateful for this weather. First time being this high, um, period, as well as on the mountain here to acclimatize. So, yeah, maybe try for a little higher tomorrow. We'll see. Today's Monday, the 24th of May, 2021, I think. I think that's right. I was looking up approximately at the fixed lines. I'm not going to turn around. Yep, it is beautiful up here. All right. We're up here at uh, Camp Four at 14,000 feet on Denali, and uh, there's looking up at the fixed lines. But here in the foreground is Castle Washburn that we've spent three days building and rebuilding. And today it's at its height here. We're walking around and see uh, the walls and the snow work. So we mined some of the snow from surface pits here and then so we got the rest but it's pretty good dimensions I would estimate it's about 25 feet by 50 feet the total structure so this was built by three of us here I'm a solo team and then Marlon and Trisha from Spokane are their own team but we've been sharing campsite resources here so that was our perimeter action our outhouse is underground as you do in the alaskan mountains so got some sleds to keep the snow off our heads uh, entryway here it's a wall and there's two different ways you can go we'll go right first here is the larger tent chamber and then to the left smaller tent and this courtyard area gets a lot of sun during the day so we have to dry anything out you just want to sit out in the sun and not in the wind this is a good place to do it so we have an internal wall here that you'll see it's around the kitchen tent. Open up through there. And to get inside the kitchen tent, you go down. And so this excavation, a lot of our bricks for the outside wall and all the other structures came from this area here. We were forced to dig in on a stormy day, but then kept digging into it. So it's also an emergency shelter if tents get shredded. And then here's up to the kitchen. Marlon and Trisha hanging out. And you can see it's pretty spacious and does the trick for staying out of most of the wind and keeping dry in the snowfall. So there's your video tour of Castle, Castle Washburn. Okay, here I am at the edge of the world rocks, which are extremely precariously placed over a 4,500 foot drop. I'm up at 4,000, or I'm sorry, 14,000 feet up on Denali. It's a little cloudy today in the low valleys at least. You can't quite see down all the way, but it is a stark drop. Through the clouds there, you can probably see Hunter in the distance. Foraker was peeking out, but I think it's gone in this cloud bank. Um, and then you can see back really clearly toward 14 camp, which is the, those dots on that ridge line in the middle of the screen. And then you can see up toward the fixed lines there, which is that notch um, on the horizon at the top. 
No one went up today. We got dumped on with snow the past couple days, so people are a little worried about avalanche danger. So just kind of laying low today. Oh, here, that might be a better shot up down below. Yeah, yikes. People climb up on this rock. Yeah, I'm good. Thanks, though. All right, I'm a little over 15K on my summit day attempt here on uh, May 31st, 2021. Sun's rising. Denali's casting a little bit of mountain shadow on Foraker as the sun swings around. It's pretty cold up here, probably negative 10. But if you keep moving, you keep warm. Heading up the fixed line shortly, so we'll see how that goes. Heading up the fixed lines here. Just clipped in. Oh, it's looking to be a great day out there. A couple skiers coming up. I don't think any climbers yet. Made it to the top of the fixed lines. It is quarter to eight. I'm a little behind schedule from what I had anticipated, but that's okay. I don't think it's gonna affect anything just yet. It's beautiful up here and miraculously windless. Oh, we got a good day coming. Now it's up to me to not screw it up. That might be the north peak. I'm not really sure. A little more in about an hour. Anyways, some cash is up here from people. Whoo! Breathing hard, but not dying yet. So there's hope for this day. I don't know exactly how high I am, maybe. 16.5, 16.8, something like that. But there's looking down at camp. There's Hunter and Forker. And then from camp, I have to go up there. All right, there's looking towards 17 camp. I'm a little distance from it still, but not much elevation lower, maybe one or 200 feet, which would put me probably at like 16,900. Um, the sun is fully saturating the west buttress now, so it's getting pretty pretty. Let's see, um, <coughs> down there you can see 14k camp in the sun. of course and then looking down the ridge line here it's actually a little narrower than described to me but it's not too terribly bad to solo I'm just using a nice tool this morning and going carefully and slowly I am gonna be slower than I thought I was today um, but I should be able to make it there by my turnaround time, which is 6 p.m. So that's the goal. I'm about half the elevation gain to it, but the second half is gonna go slower. At Denali Pass, 18.3K. It's looking back toward the Autobahn, you can see some climbers coming up it. And down at camp, 17K. And then here's the actual 
Denali Pass, North Peak. And there's looking back toward the north. And there's a whole ton of climbers up here. And we are headed that way. We've got 2,000 vertical to go. Hopefully, I can do it. I'm dying. Sucking wind. Probably a little shy of 19K. Crazy. Light lenticulars blowing over the horn in the summit. It's pretty. And then you can see uh, Foraker over there poking through. Weather is still being extremely kind. My lungs, not so much. Here, probably just shy of 20k on Pig Hill. Taking a breather, letting the rope team pass. It, it is a pig of a hill. That I can corroborate. But it's a beautiful day. Could not have asked for better summit weather. So I need to get my big boy pants on here and finish this thing as soon as this rope team passes. I got it, close enough. There's no turning back now. All right, topped out in Denali a minute ago against uh, all common sense and odds. And uh, we've got, there was a lenticular sitting on it for the last couple hours, but it is gone. And we are looking down on heaven. It's unreal. And as it, as it were, the summit kind of cleared out. There was about 40 people up here and I'm only sharing it with five right now. It is awesome up here. 20,300 feet, top of North America. Top of my list. Kinda hasn't sunk in yet. Then again, I'm not really done with the job. Gotta get off this thing. Back down to 14K. We'll see if we can make it happen. Descending the upper slopes of Denali. It's kind of getting late on me, but I knew that was going to happen. But I'm all alone in the Denali Alpen Wilderness, and it is gorgeous. Upper clouds, a nice cloud blanket down low, maybe at about 11,000 feet, 12,000 feet, something like that. It's just awesome. And the hard parts, there's still some dangerous parts ahead. I gotta get back through the Autobahn, which is a icy traverse down the slope. And then I gotta get Across the 17 campus is easy. And then I gotta go down the west buttress, which is actually not um, trivial. And then I gotta do some fixed lines, which really aren't that bad. But it'd be a lot better if I had some strength left to do. And then 
trot down from 15.5 to my bed at 14.2 and hope I've got enough water. The last few nights I'm going to spend time blowing water because I haven't done that. But anyway, this is going to be a Figured I'd share it. All right, hey, a little after 8 a.m. on uh, Wednesday, June 2nd, we are approaching Heartbreak Hill on our way out of here. Beautiful, sunny day. Should be no problem getting a flight. And I'm roped up with Marlon and Trish. And then we got another team of two bottles. 